So, we had some great things happen recently. First off, I'm at 90 million, and I got a ton of new things. But let's pick up away from the mailbox first. So we're still selling restos for 300 each. Pet tokens for 50 or more. XP's for 5 grand. We'll just see how much we sold. Regens for 1.5. Give me the money. This is getting old fast. Travels, I don't charge as much for the reason I mentioned before. For some reason there's this guy that keeps listing restos for 130 each. So I just keep buying them and buying them and buying them and buying them then he rose the price up one grand but it's still 135 each and I'm happy to pay that but we really got a lot from him for that and I'm selling them for 300 each so that's a huge markup Soldered Dagger finally. Felspine. Some chests. More chests. Somehow I got a Royal Firebolt ring for only 13 grand. It's worth a lot more, obviously. Pet token. So we're doing great on sales and finding stuff too. Getting huge half million stacks is awesome. Since the sales slowed down a bit, I was able to pull that off. Wait, Jester hat? Oh yeah. So, I traded somebody a thousand idols for unleashed white oni gloves and this hat. So, I sold the oni gloves for 700 grand. So, I made 900 grand from 1,000 idols. I don't know how I did that, but you gotta look out for stuff like that. If you can make that happen, do it. Item trades are the future. Let's see. Uh, I got this helmet for 44 grand. It's pretty good. Price sell for a hundred. More money. I bought two Phoenix eggs for 1.25 each. I can make a lot of money there. I guess people didn't see the two stack on it. A good pummel bracelet. Some super combos selling for 12. And this is not that good of a deal. I paid what like 240 each but I'm taking out my competition that's the important part and what have we here 900 gold and 7 stamps well for my policy I will not accept gifts just makes everything a lot simpler and um let's see where we're at so we made like 4 million let's look at some of the stuff we have so I got this Morty Helm now to sell. And they're really rare to find on sale in Lug. I got a bunch of offhands. A Shadow Trident recently. And I got a Void Ice Vitality Morty Spear thingy. And I was not expecting to have that, but... Fortune be told. And I also got Garanok Ring, a Gelly Bracelet, some Necro Braces, 100 Damage Ring. Wait, no, I already had that. I already had that. And I got this Pummel Bracelet. We also got a crap ton of elixirs. Let's open these real quick. Just to get them out of the way, have them ready to sell. So 
So ults and rebars sell really good on most worlds. Good item to have. Same with most of these elixirs if no one else is selling them. I also grab four pet tokens. Well, no, no, four mount tokens. So what do we have to buy? We obviously got a lot to sell. Nope, rip off. Shields are just hard to sell, so I would avoid them. No money to be made, really. What else? You know, I have a feeling that this is the same bracelet from our friend in the earlier videos. He really needs to drop the price on that if he wants to sell it. I'm kinda shocked. Um, so that's four grand to four point five. I can't make that much money on it. No, has a bit on it. Not a fan of produce bracelets. Let's see. So our competition here is selling it for 1.8 million, but he has no buyout, and that's the issue. I have a feeling I could sell it for more if I just put a buyout on it. Because they'll be more willing to buy it. No one likes waiting. 90 grand, uh-uh. We're still getting the resto market. Um, got these regens to compete with. You know, let's buy those. Well, bid on them, rather. Because if we can have the whole market, that's a great thing. And I could make at least 30, 40 grand on those. Oh, a 10% torch. Right, I'll keep that in the back of my mind for later. Not today, though. Maybe tomorrow. These helms don't really sell. I think I tried to sell one in a previous episode. And resist poison is not that needed anymore. So I don't think that's going to sell. And they got the weird minus 50 health sword. The sword's the only way to get to one health. I was kind of thinking that if you had too little health, you would just keep dying over and over and over again, but one's the minimum. Alright, so now we can start this huge selling list. And I'm going to load it up with boss drops, just for fun. Because I think that would be a cool little thing to do. So, we're going to sell these for normal prices. Sell this Ice Shard helmet for 300 grand, maybe. Because it's a great helmet. The caster ones are good, the other ones are okay. We'll throw this in there for this and see what we get from it. We'll throw another helm in there just for looks. Now since Morty helms basically never sell on lug, I can ask whatever I want for it. Or at least try to. So let's see if we get some offers in the mail from this or something. As for weapons, let's see what can we do. The good stuff. Alright, well this ain't good but we're throwing it in there anyway. Because it goes with what I'm going to sell later. So I'm going to put this in there too. Then we can do 
two tridents. Dark trident maybe forty grand. Shadow can be like eighty. Let's see, this is the dark one, right? We're gonna put this for higher. Because I got a nice plan in mind. And maybe I'll put some regret in people. It'll give them a higher perceived value of it. Now, look at the spear. Void is very rare, has very nice stats, is available for three classes, and it glows red. I mean, how badass is that? So, since the chance of somebody getting this out of clan is basically zero, and that they could buy it with having no clan attachment. Let's see what we can do here. Now one thing I should mention is that it doesn't really matter if you pay a lot for something. Most people forget the ability of being able to sell it when they're done with it. So you're not really losing that money. Unless you pay too much, but we're not going to talk about that. Moving on, so we got this 100x, and we can do something like this, because I haven't seen many of them in the auction house lately. And let's see, we got our 150s. I just sell it for 100 grand more. That's pretty reasonable. And this 200x. We'll go for something like this. Since they're pretty hard to find and really useful. We got nothing else of use there. So on to this crap load of stuff. Garanok ring. Reasonable. Um, we'll just throw this back in there for the same price. Go with this ranger thingy. Where's the sharp shot one? Here it is, okay. That's pretty reasonable. And we got two corresponding bracelets, which would be pretty nice to pair together. So we'll do something like this. A nice combo. Now this Gelly bracelet, it doesn't have direct damage on it, but it has everything a warrior will want. I think we can get half a million for it at least. We're not even going to do the fireball, we're going high end today. So let's see, Phoenix Egg. Good enough for me. And having two is better than having one because rich people will want them. Four pet tokens. No, I keep getting them mixed up. Four mount tokens. So if I multiply this by 75 grand, I have 300 grand. That's alright. We'll just do 10. That's fine. No, we're gonna sell the combos, because I know they'll sell. Restos, we can try a high stack, not guaranteed. Now, 
we can load it up with books, maybe? Worth a shot. Books usually sell good alone. I don't know about together, and we're gonna find out. So this is a really nice selling list we got here. I'm so glad I found all this stuff. Definitely makes it look a lot better. But yeah, if you keep marching, eventually you're gonna have a lucky day. You just gotta look for the right things and hope it all comes true. And that's all I got for you today.